Welcome back everybody, this is Steve KM9G and I've got an X6100 update. This is the new radio, the rumored radio, the hyped radio from Zygu that should be coming out real soon. I wanna give you a couple of quick bits of information and also a quick warning on uh, purchasing this from AliExpress. Nothing wrong with anything that's going on out there, but just a quick bit of advice for our US customers over here. So there is a video that I saw on YouTube. It is not in English. There is a link to it in the description down below. I just wanted to give you a quick look at this display of what's going on here and talk about where I think we are headed. Um, check out my previous video. It is linked up above for where we were a while ago when this was first announced and where we are here. This gives you a much better uh, view of the front of the radio. This is the X6100, obviously. It's an HF through 50 megahertz transmitter. And now we see the thing powered on and we get to see some of that rich, beautiful goodness of what's going on on the screen here. So my initial impressions are that this looks like a new version of the GSOC, the GSOC display that Zygu makes. It's not exactly like it, but it is similar. So you can see that there's a little bit of an evolution there. Uh, you can see at the bottom of the screen, there are what we call soft buttons. So these buttons will change depending on what context the radio is in and give you some different options. And then you would push the hard button down below potentially uh, because the hard buttons below don't have anything written on them. Um, this would help with you. You're gonna start getting real familiar with the radio the more you operate it and you'll be able to hit the hard button by feel of where it physically is, knowing that it's radio settings. And then you'll know that the third button over is monitor level. And then you'll know that you can spin one of the dials to increase the level of the feedback that you get from monitor. So I like the fact that there's hard buttons there. That's great. Um, on the screen display, you have a TX power indicator of five watts. You have a volume indicator of 16. You can see VFOA and you can see VFOB. It looks like, uh, ATU here, which would be antenna tuner. It looks like squelch. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This could be SPL or IPL. Uh, noise blanker, noise reduction. And I can't tell what this last one is. AN something. I'm not 100% sure. There is a screen lock, so you would not be able to interact. I'm going to assume this is a touch screen because that's where the world is today. And if it's not, that would be a pretty big disappointment. It has a USB connection. And from the previous video, we believe that this has USB out as well as USB OTG, USB on the go, or USB hosting. And knowledge of the GSOC product line would tell me that this probably will allow you to plug a mouse in and click things around and plug a keyboard in and type things. Next to that, we have what looks like a Bluetooth icon. That's gonna be fantastic. So you'll be able to get a Bluetooth headset and mic. Um, and maybe some other uh, Bluetooth control, like cat over Bluetooth would be nice. We also see Wi-Fi here. Um, the ICOM 705 does have a full audio chain out on Wi-Fi, as well as um, frequency control and those kinds of things. So I would expect something very similar from this product, battery display, and then internal speaker volume. But what I'm seeing more here than just these icons, this looks very much like uh, what you would expect to find on an Android display. So we thought that it ran Linux the last time that we looked at it, and now I have an even better opinion that it runs a certain flavor of Linux, and that would be the Android flavor. So I'm liking what I see here. I also see automatic gain control. This USB is upper sideband. This VFO is on lower sideband. This is VFOB, this is VFOA. It looks like there's a preamp. It looks like there's an attenuator. We've got a nice signal meter. So it looks like they have taken the best parts of the GSOC, the X5105, and the G90 and merged them all into one. So you've got bigger display, built-in tuner. As a result of that, I'd also expect an SWR sweep, um, mouse control, keyboard control, and the portability form factor and power output levels of the 5105. And then I would also expect this to work with the XPA125 amplifier that I've been playing with. So I am really excited about this. Now the word of warning when it comes to AliExpress, and it's not anything bad, it's just an is. We, as viewers of this channel, are predominantly in the US, and if you were to order this off of AliExpress, it's probably going to be locked down 
for a different region than we are in. We are in region two, and that gives us different band privileges, different frequency allocations than people in region one, as an example. Um, not that you can't work your way around that, but you'd have to open it up. You'd have to do what's called a Mars mod on it. And again, other Zygu products, when you open them up, there's like a great big arrow that says, here, this is where you do it. So it's not difficult to do. Um, and then the second thing would be that sellers on AliExpress, not 100% of them are 100% reputable, just like the same way that you would find on eBay or on Amazon or anywhere else. You, you may run into a non-reputable seller. So be aware of that. I'm expecting this is going to be in the $600 price range from what I've seen, but you can find these things on AliExpress for $100,000. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, so caveat mTOR, buyer beware, and I'm looking forward to this thing when it comes out. This looks like it's a pretty neat little device. And still unsure um, whether this is going to be the 705 killer. It's currently slated to be about half the price. Um, but the 705 has a lot of functionality. I really enjoy my 705, and I'm still looking forward to the KX uh, Elecraft radio that's going to be the next generation, and I'm looking forward to the Yezu radio that's going to be the next generation. And it currently looks like everybody's next generation is portable, QRP, and some type of spectrum display on the radio at a bare minimum. So that's it for today. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.